In this video, we're going to look at how negative powers work. So we'll see how to apply them to single numbers, like in these two, and then also to fractions. One thing to point out, though, is that we're not going to solve any of these expressions as such. We're just going to rearrange them into simpler forms so that they don't have their negative powers anymore. Let's begin with the single numbers. All we have to do when we have a negative power is take the inverse of the term, which just means flip it upside down and then change the power to a positive number. So for 4 to the power of negative 3, we just flip it upside down by doing 1 over 4 and then make the power of negative 3 a positive 3, so that we end up with 1 over 4 cubed. Then because 4 cubed is 64, we can actually rewrite our answer as 1 over 64. So for this next one, x to the power of negative 5, you'd flip it to get 1 over x, and then change the power of negative 5 to positive 5. So our answer would just be 1 over x to the power of 5. For fractions, like 4 over 7, or to the power of minus 2, we do basically the same thing. So you just flip the whole fraction upside down, so that it becomes 7 over 4, and then change the power of negative 2 to a positive 2. Then, because the power of 2 applies to the whole bracket, we have to apply it to the numerator and the denominator separately. So that will give us 7 squared on top, divided by 4 squared, which equals 49 over 16. For a last example, let's look at 3 over 2 to the power of negative 3. So first, you flip the fraction upside down to become 2 over 3, and change the power of negative 3 to a positive 3. Then we can apply that power of 3 to the top and bottom individually to get 2 cubed on top, divided by 3 cubed on the bottom, which is just 8 over 27. That's everything for this video, so hope you enjoyed it, and cheers for watching!